really good. It's basically like the XIX though, but at a higher rank. Wow, that was a good shot to be using this. It has the same fire rate. It's just the HK416, but accurate. As you can see, like it's so accurate. All right, so hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the best gun to pre-buy in every class in Phantom Forces in 2024. There's been a bunch of big updates, so some of these guns are a lot better than they were before. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'm so close to 100K, but let's get into it. The first gun up is the G11. Now there are a lot of really good assault rifles in the game right now, specifically guns like the AUG A2, but the AUG A2 is like rank 40. So just, you know, pre-buy the AUG A2. Just kidding, don't, because you can just rank up this one is rank 211 i'm barely <laughs> rank 211 so i would barely even have this gun and i've been playing this game for like seven years so yeah i'd recommend you pre-buy this if you really want to use it it's really good for all ranges it can one burst to the head at any range and one burst torso up close as well as you can see it has literally no recoil all three shots land in exactly the same spot because the recoil only happens after the burst i don't know how you're even there and yeah the gun's really really good it is really, really good. And also it's ranked 211, so it's kind of worth pre-buying. For Battle Rifle, the Foul 50 can actually now 3-hit kill to the torso at any range. It has lower recoil, and it has not quite as good fire rate, but it has 650, and it can 3-shot to 3-shot, basically. It can 2-hit kill with, like, headshots and stuff. But the thing I really, really like about it is that it's basically, like, a statistically similar M60, but it doesn't have the ramp-down fire rate feature, and also it doesn't really have awful handling like the M60 does. I'm not actually using, like, a proper loadout. I'd probably use, like, sideways and green laser or two yellows because it has the new recoil system, which, if you didn't know, the new recoil system has a lot of attachments you can kind of abuse for recoil control, but if you want, essentially, M60 without having to deal with stupid ramp up and bad handling and stuff like that. This is the gun for you. It's basically the same gun. If you really think about it, like the stats are, are very similar. For PDW, we have the Chris Vector. Now the Chris Vector before was always kind of a great gun to pre-buy, but it got a nerf that turned into one of the biggest buffs of any gun ever, dude. This gun went from 34 damage up to 41. It does like AK damage and it fires twice as fast as the AK. And it also has 357 SIG, which is honestly one of the best conversions in the entire game, hands down right now. It's kind of ridiculous what this thing can do because it can actually four hit kill torso all ranges at 1200 rpm it can almost two hit kill to the body as well which means the time to kill is almost like 0 0.05 seconds body shot as you can see 25 assists which means i have to four hit people yeah i this is supposed to be a high recoil conversion it definitely has some recoil but you can kind of just pull it down and if you have the proper loadout two yellow lasers for me there's probably other attachment loadouts you can run on this as well but it, it kills really fast i don't know and it keeps that time to kill like very very far which you wouldn't really expect for the you know the the SMGs, like, in this update have been really weird, where they have really, really awful muzzle velocity. But this one actually doesn't. And it's not even close. Like, this actually just has, like, good muzzle velocity. It's, like, 1400 or something, which isn't the best in the world. But it's not too bad. The gun also reloads, like, insanely quickly as well. So, for LMG, we really have to pick one. And I would pick the M60, but that's rank 19, so don't pre-buy it. I would recommend the Stoner. Stoner is basically a four-hit all-ranges light machine gun with extremely high bullet velocity and no recoil. If you want an LMG that you can literally run at any range, it's not even going to be good for, like, close range. But it will work at, you know, 300 studs away if you don't like DMRs or something. 24 at range doesn't sound great, but it has a torso multi, and you can also run... AP ammo or even more torso multi and basically four hit kill people all ranges with no struggle at all the velocity did get a bit of a nerf but yeah i don't know it doesn't even matter this gun is really good you know the time to kill isn't great but it just holds that time to kill for any range which is nice for carbine there's really only one right now and that's of course the ak 105 because you will also want to pre-buy the bars barrel honestly it might be one of the best guns in the game but as you can see with bars barrel and two yellow lasers, literally, literally zero recoil, dude. I'm turning British. That's how, um, that's how, that's how low recoil this gun is. You can beam people from any range. It's, uh, it's like an HK416 with, like, actually good recoil. Time to kill wise, it's basically the same as the HK416. HK416, but it reloads faster and you can actually land your shots. HK416 is so overrated now. I, I feel like everybody who's using that gun should be using this. It has the same fire rate. It's just the HK416, but accurate. As you can see, like, it's so accurate. Right now for shotgun, I'd honestly just say the DT11. The Saiga is only, like, rank 60, so I don't really recommend you pre-buy it. And the DT11, especially with sawed-off barrel on close-range maps, is really good. But also, it can kill really far from any range. It's a very, very fun gun. It's also not too bad if you use it on particular maps. It, not even, like, not too bad. It's actually, like, really, really good. You can't kill people from as far as you used to before the shotgun nerf. I still won't lie to you. It's, it's a very, very fun shotgun. We need a new shotgun in the game, though. We need a new shotgun. 
shotgun, okay? This is the last gun we've gotten in the shotgun class, and it's been a while, you know? But double barrel shotguns are always really fun, and this double barrel actually has, like, the same fire rate as, like, a Saiga, and it also reloads a heck of a lot faster than the Stevens DB. Stevens has, like, 200 RPM. This has, like, 300, maybe 350. I forgot. And yeah, the uh, the damage is really good. I'm not going to lie. It does 19 damage per pellet, but it has 12 pellets. That's a lot more than most shotguns. For snipers right now, I really don't have to talk about this one for too long. It's the SVDS. The SVDS, um, it has 280 RPM and it can one shot to the torso. I don't know. It's basically DMR that can one shot people body shot. So yeah, use it. Honestly, I can only really think of one for the DMRs right now. And that is the SA58. Now, honestly, the high rank DMRs are really not cutting it right now. I won't lie to you because I feel like the SVDS SL9, or not SL9, but the SL8 with marksman barrel and the Mark 11 are kind of just like the DMRs right now. I'm not going to lie, but this one is really good. It doesn't like look that good right now, and that's because it's not actually a very long range DMR. The main thing it can do is it can actually one shot headshot to 50 studs, and it fires at 500 RPM, which is really, really good. It makes it kind of a great all around gun because you can absolutely spam people. It also two shots body shot, which is nice, but you can one tap people up close and two shot people to the body as well. And it shoots really fast as well. So it kind of makes it a better all around DMR. If you're not really a big DMR fan, I think this actually might beat out most of the dimmers for you, right? And also it can two shot to the head at range. It can almost one head, one body, but it can't do that, which is sad because the torso multi is kind of awful. It has two times headshot multi, but then it has a 1.1 torso. So yeah, as you can see, you can spam it though. It's not really the best DMR in the game, I'd say overall, but for close and long range, like you can you can do both with it, which is nice. Now for secondaries, there's obviously only one pistol. It's my highest kill secondary and it's not even close. I have nearly 3000 kills on it and it's honestly better than it's ever been, which is crazy. I got most of my kills before it got a nerf. And basically what they did to it is they reduced the fire rate from 400 to 200 and it used to also be a oh my. It used to be able to two shots to the torso at any range. They removed that as well. What they did recently is they increased the one shot range of it and then they gave it 400 rpm as well back to being 400 rpm which is it's very fast fire rate you know it has a lot of recoil but yeah you can just tap people with it and it makes it really powerful all you got to do is kind of just like unaim and re-aim every single shot and yeah you can one shot people and as you can see there i could still two tap that guy from that range and it's still got a really really good one shot torso range honestly the fire rate nerf didn't really make it that bad but now you can actually spam it if you really need to as well which is nice good only if you are swapping off of it but if you don't want to use a pistol, uh, I guess we have MP1911. That's the one I kind of recommend. Actually, ASMI. Actually, I'd recommend the ASMI over it. MP1911 is good, but it's kind of like the Tech 9, and the Tech 9 just got a damage buff, so maybe that's better. But this gun, the ASMI, is ridiculous. I don't know why they did this. It does 32 to the limbs, and it has a 1.25 torso multi. So now this gun, yeah, it's only got 600 RPM, but it takes grips. The recoil is good, and it can 3-tap. This has like AK-47 body shot time to kill. If you thought AK-47 was good, uh, this is like secondary version. As you can see, the bullet drop is bad, but like whatever, you know? You can beam people from pretty decent range. You might have to lead your shots a little bit, but it also works for like close range as like a secondary. Essentially just full auto rifle because 600 RPM, three shot is really not even bad for a primary weapon. You can also take grip attachments, which is goofy. It's the only secondary that can do that. This feels like I'm using a primary weapon. It's ridiculous. And the three hit kill range is actually probably like 65 studs, maybe even more with uh, all torso shots, which is better than a lot of primary weapons. I'm not going to lie, like uh, better than a lot of, of assault rifles. The muzzle velocity is kind of trash, but it's not really the worst in the world. Okay, so here's what I kind of recommend. You could buy the executioner, but I also want to talk about the judge. I feel like the judge is kind of underrated. The executioner is is really good it's basically like the xix though but at a higher rank wow that was a good shot now the judge on the other hand is the secondary handgun um wait that's what a secondary is secondary shotgun same same thing as you can see it can one shot people and it's actually really good it has five pellets but each pellet does 50 damage and it also has 300 rpm which is not bad either it does single load like the executioner but you can put the speed loader on it as well which is good not great for range but it is kind of a very nice secondary that i don't see a lot of people talking about it has very very little range because of the pellet count but kind of like a saga 12u but a little different and also you know you don't have to only have two rounds unless you have the extended so that's pretty fun last up for other honestly i 
probably just recommend the Saiga 12U. Now, both of these guns are actually kind of similar if you think about it. Both have six rounds, both have about 300 RPM. This one has double the pellets, but about half the pellet damage. So if you want kind of a similar gun, you can switch between the two of them. I think the Saiga 12U might be overall a little bit better, but there's nothing wrong with running that funny shotgun revolver either. Both of these guns are terrible for range, as you can see, but that's kind of expected. They're secondary shotguns. The fact that this can have an extended mag at all is kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie because it's kind of up close, very similar to the Saiga. It feels very, very similar, and it's a secondary, which is very fun. It is a much higher rank than the Saiga, but that's why you can pre-buy it. Wow, that, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. Anyways, gamers, we are so close to 100k subs. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're new, subscribe, please. Only 0.01% of people are subscribed to my channel. Trust me, bro. See you guys in the next one. Peace.